getting their tools, getting their robots in place. These are those moments when one needs to hold their nerves together because the last few minutes or few seconds can really be something that can make or break a person's mindset or a team. So we need to keep our thoughts together, calm ourselves down and just focus on the end goal which has to be that you need to go out and go and play to win. So he was wishing both the teams all the best. May the best team win. The countdown of the last 10 seconds should be able to get started any minute or any second from now on. And as soon as those last 10 seconds get wrapped up, we shall have the actual match also starting up. The last in the final quarterfinal is on three minutes of game time. And the team to watch out for Institute of Technology, Nirma University, which has been absolutely on fire. They have to be the team to watch out for. Their hot favorites already up with four in their seedling of plantation. A little bit of a problem for the blue corner because their saplings have not been planted adequately well but the nirma university is rolling on from one gear to the other and what a way to go forward they in fact have got all their samplings already on and now the bot has already got two of their 30 points into the silos what a fantastic way but a little bit of a glitch right there the robot needs to be taken back and you can see the people from the crew dazzling down from the bot park into the pit and getting them for immediate repairs right there. R1 is in the process of launching the balls into zone three for uh, the Blue Kana, which is the Government College of Engineering and Research of Sari Kurd. And they, you can see there in the Blue Kana, the sapling slightly out of place. So as many as the number of saplings you can get, those many balls can you actually send into zone 3 for R2, Robot 2, to get it there. Also a problem for the blue corner robot as it seems to have found its malfunction. But the Nirma University has got its gears back on. They are on with the operation of number 2. Two balls there into the silos. If you can get three more, it will be a fantastic fantastic opportunity for them that's a special condition when they've got all three balls it is known as the Mua Vang which in Vietnam is called Hooray so that's a very very steep pass they've got the third ball in there so 90 points already in their kitty from the silos itself while as the blue corner is yes to start its very first action from the robot number two which is still into the pit, still trying to get its act into order. But there is ball number four for Nirma University. Once again, on hot pursuit, zone three action for the blue corner. The robots getting there. Can they have the action in the last 25 seconds? The clock's running out on them. So the first silo is already done. Three balls in for uh, the Nirma University. One other more is more last 10 seconds in a few moments from now and there's nine eight seven six five four three two one there goes the hooter the time's off six big balls of red for nirma university and that's going to be a huge score as they storm inside We'll wait for the official confirmation from our judges team. And in case you don't know who they are, let's tell you. The chief referee is uh, 
Professor T.P. Singh, who comes in from PDEU Gandhi Nagar. Signing him is uh, Professor G. Rajiv Lochna Chintava Gadi, who comes in from the Amrita University from Bangalore. And also is uh, Mr. Nikhil Kulshreshta, who's from the Advanced Digital Controls from Roorkee. They also have Professor S.S. O'Hall from COPTU Pune. And the last and the final judge is Professor P.M. Patak from IIT Roorkee Saskse. It was a fantastic thing and how the Nirma University bot seemed to have a mind of its own. It's not automated, let me tell you. It seemed to be thinking, acting, reacting and aligning itself with absolute precision, absolute plans put into action. That's a bot you have to watch out for. Wait and watch the rest of you, the viewers who are watching this live action exclusively uh, on uh, Doordarshan. Robocon 2004, Nirma University is on fire. Well, Nirma University is on fire and they have been on fire also, Sajay. If you were to talk about the team's performance just before this match began, I did talk about the same thing to our viewers also, that this team has been invincible and in the manner they have dominated this entire tournament up against the opponents, they literally have gone about demolishing the opposition whenever they were put into a match and that's exactly what they did today also clean swift strategy that was executed to perfection robots that were working to their full efficiency and of course at the same time were able to execute what the team or the students had in their mind so it was a combination of the students skill coming into play with the robots efficiency who are obviously developed and made by the students but the combination sat down pretty well this time for Nirma University and they look to be the front runners, the spearheaders right now and also the front runners in the race to the finals we can say because the way this team has been playing it seems that they cannot be stopped and we have TP Singh ready out there to give us the final results. The result of the fourth match of the quarterfinals that was played between team in red, Institute of Technology near my university from Ahmedabad versus team in blue, Government College of Engineering and Research of Sari. Team in red, Institute of Technology near my university, Ahmedabad scored 420 points. Whereas team in blue, Government College of Engineering and Research, Avsari could scored 180 points. Winner of the fourth match is Institute of Technology, nearby university.